Hello, welcome to Hacking Games. Today I want to go over a few boost spots on the map Nuke. Most of these will need a teammate to get you into position, but a few of them can be done solo. So I'm going to start with a pretty neat spot on the ramp area. Using a jump boost you can get your teammate up onto this thick pipe and play behind yellow. It's a really concealed position, when you look at it from the terrorist perspective they'd have to pull off a pretty big reaction shot to even come close. You don't have to just play it from there, you can actually walk along the pipe further down and set up here. As the terrorists push in it will look clear from their point of view, you can easily rotate around the container to remain hidden and pick off maybe two or three from behind. One thing to note though, because it's a jump boost it may take a while until you're able to get up onto the pipe. You may want to smoke off radio room to deter terrorists from just walking in and catching you with your pants down. Another nice little boost you can do is on the maps in radio room. This isn't a jump boost like the last one so it's very easy to do, just a standard boost onto the edge of the map. From the CT's perspective they will only see the very edge of your foot if they check the corner by doing a wide turn, but if they go straight in they won't be able to see you at all. Now obviously there is a bit of risk involved in this one as there is a possibility of them seeing you first, but if you want to use it messing around in pubs then you can probably get away with it. This next boost is for lobby, you can either have your team out help you out but it can actually be done solo using the white container as a jumping point. So this position sets you up nicely for any push coming from radio room. From the counter terrorist perspective they can't see you at all and you will always see them first. Obviously you need to have your teammates covering squeaky and hut as this is quite an open position. This silo boost is a pretty standard one that most people will know, but just bear with me as it leads on to a lot more interesting one in a bit. You can do this silo boost on your own but it takes a bit of strafe jumping in order to pull off. From the silo you have a nice overview of the outside area and can work a pick on the defending CTs. So using the silo boost you can now set yourself up for a boost onto the skywalk. If you drop down from silo onto the top of main you can boost a teammate onto this air conditioning unit. Once you're in place you can then strafe around the corner to land on the skywalk. It's a very hard jump to make and the fall damage is quite high but if you succeed you can easily get a flank on anyone in crows and the A bomb site. This next boost is one to get up to crows. It's great if you have control of outside and want to take the CTs out from behind. So you boost up on this vent and then boost again over the railing behind crows. Just make sure you are walking on the roof as running to do the next boost will give your position away. This last boost is quite basic but a few of you might not know it. You can get a guy up onto the rafters from hut with a standard boost. This is good if you have control of the site as terrorists but want to get a guy up on rafters to a better spot. The boost can be done very quickly but just make sure the area is clear first. So that's about it. If anyone has any boosts that I've missed then by all means let me know. I think I've covered all the legal ones that you can use in leagues and competitive play. If you found this video helpful then please drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the same. As always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.